All right, you guys. Um, I'm doing a video at the request of Ham. I feel like, uh, uh, oh, I gotta look over here, I guess. I feel like uh, Tina Tanawaka, Tanawaka in, um, in uh, uh, Family Guy. Right over here, it says U.S. Securities Commission. There it says it again, so U.S. Securities Commission. I, um, I can't find the exact location where the truck was, but uh, the, S the SEC is a huge block next to Union Station, which is right behind me. So, um, and by the way, I just walked through the best parts of your capital and uh, also went through the shopping mall there. The economy is really in trouble. So anyway, I'm standing here, Pam, in front of the SEC, which is tasked with the job of protecting investors and the markets. Well, I'm doing it here because, number one, je accuse, I accuse, I accuse the SEC of uh, failing in its mission. And uh, I think it was, uh, I think it was uh, uh, Overstock's guy, Pat Byrne, that had a nickname for SEC. I can think of a couple. Somulin, Edifice of Complicity, uh, 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 Sleeping Elephant of Corruption, uh, Sweet of the Executive, C word, uh, but you get my point. Uh, complicity, corruption, uh, nincompoops. Um, I want to give you guys a number: one hundred billion dollars. One hundred billion dollars. That's for the SEC, but it's also for all of you. Uh, one hundred billion is the amount that this trade is going to cost the Kramers, the Prime Brokers, the DTCC, and the marketplace. If you, if you assume uh, 100 million shares sell at $1,000, now, is that reasonable? Well, you've got, you've got uh, estimates of 150 million shares short and one estimate at 350 million. So you do your, you do your own arithmetic. But uh, assuming there, there's only two sellers in this stock, the Kramers and you. And uh, the Kramers are doing their damnedest to sell this down. I don't know how. Uh, I'll address that in a second to Gary Gensler. GGG. Glib Gary Gensler. Um, so take 50 million off, take 200 million off, whatever you, 250 million off, whatever. I think it's safe to say that after the initial selling that it's completely plausible that these shares will be bought in at over a thousand dollars. And so a thousand times a hundred million, you got your number. It's a massive loss. Now the GGG, uh, Glib Gary Gensler, you're either ignorant, stupid, uh, complicit, were captured by the industry. You made your money in Goldman Sachs, and uh, Goldman Sachs makes a lot of its profits from the, the loan uh, uh, department, the share loan department. But it's even more than that. Um, the trading volumes that come from these hedge funds that are possibly helped by Goldman, but certainly by, by uh, uh, you know, I'm talking about the smaller ones, not the big ones like SEC or SAC or uh, 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 Citadel. I'm talking about these smaller group pools of money that an SAC would help to give out money to, uh, to, to short stocks to oblivion. You, Gary Gensler, have allowed, and the SEC, have allowed the over-the-counter markets to be absolutely obliterated 
it, and it's not just one stock. It's stock after stock. It's industry after industry. I think you do it so that Goldman Sachs and the remaining um, bulge bracket firms have an opportunity to be the only source of capital formation and they can charge their fees all the way up. I also think by allowing uh, uh, an expansion of assets under management with counterfeit shares, the, these markets can increase their fees and the fees all go upstairs to the executive suite and they go to guess who? Uh, people like Gary Gensler. Gary's here uh, putting another notch on his resume, but he'll swing out and get an executive directorship at one of the big firms, and his problems are all solved. Okay, uh, let me give you another number. The Kramers, just using 100 million, well, let's use 150 million for my first number. The Kramers have been shorting this stock from under 10 cents a share. If we assume that their average basis, I guess that's the word, their average stealing basis is 75 cents a share, at a dollar fifty, they will be down 150 million dollars. Um, I no, I'm sorry, I think it's 105 million, but it's uh, it's over 100 million dollars that they will be down. I, it's entirely plausible that right now they're down 100 million dollars. Um, if you use uh, 100 million shares instead of 150 and you used to, the price that I saw just before I started this video, you, they're down 50 to 60 million dollars on, on an estimated cost basis. Um, uh, I just got lost with what I was going to say. Let me just look. Um, all right, so uh, GGG. Glib Gary Gensler, I'm here to ask you to do two things. One, alert the prime brokers that uh, uh, the Kramers and all their LLCs in the stock symbol GDII, with, with a letter written probably by their lawyer, uh, Nadish, you can go to the Power Up website and you can get there, or you can go to your own settlements with uh, the Kramers. In 2013, the Kramers signed a uh, statement that they would never be an unregistered security dealer again, and you gave them a minor slap on the wrist, and you both agreed that no one had done anything. Well, they've been continuing to destroy companies by short selling. And what you guys have allowed is that there are, there's no buying in the over-the-counter markets anymore because the big four firms don't allow it. There's no research on companies anymore. And you talk about, Gary Gensler, you talk about having a level playing field. Well, the only way to level this up in GTII is to allow all these people that are long to go in and buy 10 million shares and promise to pay in 35 days. 10 million shares the Kramers have wash traded and have short, shorted naked. It's in FINRA's numbers over the last 30 days. And, 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 and it's continuing. And in this case, I would argue with the other companies that they're destroying, they have these toxic notes in place, these financings in place, so the lawyer can write a letter saying that the shares exi will exist. It's an arbitrage of theft. But in this case, there is no financing. There is nothing in place. They are selling shares out of thin air. They're creating them out of thin air, and you're letting it happen. You're letting it happen. Um, now, let me just tell the, the long song here. Uh, you are amazing. You're, you're, you're doing more. You're probably befuddled by uh, uh, all the terminology and all this. It's just meant to make you feel bad. But you're doing better trade right now than any of these hedge funds out there. We haven't even gotten to the front running. As soon as there's an order out there the, the, to buy in, there's going to be front running and the stock is just going to explode. Um, for example, I'll use a bad guy's name, Ken Griffin. It's rumored that Citadel is in trouble and Citadel has uh, 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 margin problems. They're leveraged, you know, live by the sword, die by the sword. They're all leveraged up the wazoo. 
And those HKD and that other Chinese stock, it was rumored through Loop Capital, which is an associated firm with uh, Ken Griffin, that they manipulated those prices up so that Ken could get uh, capital into uh, Citadel. Well, what if Ken Griffin starts buying this stock? Let's say he buys 5 million shares under, under $3, call it $15 million he puts up. Well, guess what? If those 5 million shares go to $500, it's two and a half billion, two and a half billion. And any, if there's anyone listening from the market makers or from FINRA or from uh, Congress, how the hell do you allow a trade? There's no brokerage firm, there's no trading desk, there's no retail broker that would be allowed to put this position in place. You've got a naked, you've got a bunch of wahoos up there in uh, 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 Great Clam, New York, uh, selling, selling shares that don't exist. And guess what guys, all of you watching, Goldman Sachs, Merrill Lynch, Wells Fargo, and the other one, Morgan Stanley, they're all banks now which means the FDIC insures the deposit. Guess who's going to be on the hook when this all goes down? And the reporters, uh, Gretchen Morganson, Charlie Payne, do not let these guys behind us, when this blows up, say that it was uh, the Bernie bros, or it was a bunch of 400-pound uh, men sitting in their basement with their computers. Don't let them say that. You've known about this trade for over uh, uh, 18 months, and uh, uh, we've been in it, moms have been in it for that long. It is not the case that there's uh, COVID money coming in to a bunch of ill intent uh, 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 people playing with their computers. No, that when this goes up, it's gonna go up because hedge funds are buying it, because big names on Wall Street are buying it, because they wanna catch out, uh, a short and they see the money to be made and you know who's going to pay for it the u.s taxpayer uh let me just quickly see uh all right i promised i promised i promised to keep this short and i'll just end it with one thing there's a uh wayland jennings does a song uh about his children and and he He's amazed at all the technology and their future and all the confusing stuff that's out there. And to the longs, that's what's what this behind us. They're, they're here to protect their friends. They're not here to protect you. But everything's complicated and it's all computerized. Makes you wonder why they don't have a computer to settle the trades. Settle the trades or ask for the sell tickets. Tickets, follow the money. But anyway, they're all behind you with this razzle dazzle. So Waylon's song, uh, is about how great his kids are. But then he says, uh, and my singing voice is terrible, but he says, uh, if you want to learn how to dance, just watch your mama and me. A good old boy and his lady, not much to see. But if you want to be happy, just watch your mama and me. Well, Gary, this thing is gonna rumble. And if you wanna dance, watch the old boys, the people that don't know all the computerized crap. I don't know how to edit this, but this squeeze is gonna happen. And when it comes, don't say that you didn't know about it. We've been calling into the SEC every day at noon for, for months. We, I'm sure we got bored with it because nothing happens. So uh, you can go back to your somnolence um, and we'll go back to our trading. All right, uh, ham, I, I don't know what <laughs> this is gonna be like, but I kept it under 15 minutes. Just remember Longs, you're, you're in the right trade. Don't sell early because you're the only selling. Once the Kramer stock, you're the only stock available. And even if you all sold at $10, all of you, there'd still be 150 million shares to cover and it's going to be covered, it has to be, once, it's, once it starts. And uh, 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 I started with a huge number, 100 billion at 1,000. I think it'll get there. That means I think you can get your high prices. So all the best. It's a beautiful day in DC, uh, absolutely gorgeous. I hope you uh, 
are thankful and say thanks for all the good things in life. And when you make money on this, protect your family, protect your friends, get out of the markets, get out of the uh, risk business because the economy doesn't look good. Anyway, all my best. Cheers.